Ravel's 37 Ford Coupe Kit coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Welcome back again, fellow hobby builders. My name is Trevor Slescu, and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And tonight we've got a real treat for you as we open the lid on Ravel's 37 Ford Coupe Street Rod Kit. So without further ado, let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. Street rods, street rods, street rods. Who doesn't like to build a good old street rod every now and again? Well, you can do that with the Revell 37 Ford Coupe Street Rod Kit. Although I do wish they would bring this out in stock because it would fill a great big missing gap on our shelves as Ford model builders or just model builder car builders in general. So now, this kit was originally produced in 2000 from Revell and features that really awful flip open box that they had with the uh, little tabs that stuck in the corner that when you opened it they tended to pop out. So let's just take this box and move it right out of the way so that we can concentrate on the instructions. And now here's a cool part. I bought this at John's Hobbies on May 11th, 2003. Now the interesting historic Monster Hobbies element to this is that I bought out John's Hobbies and renamed it as Monster Hobbies and added my own flair to it. And that is the actual origin store of what we are now. So, getting into our instructions, you can see a very 1990s style model kit here with 70s influences. Or is it the other way around? Here you have a big Chevy 427, massive block, with this cool air cleaner. And then we have our undercarriage and the exhaust pipes. This also has the Ford Independent IFS suspension with a Jaguar style rear end, which was a popular 70s customizing feature. I do believe this was an older kit that got updated. I could be standing corrected here. There you get your radiator with the electric fan attachment and your fenders with the option of a smooth running board or the stock style and of course your bench seat very 90s looking as well as your interior panels and your dashboard and then you get these cool spa splash panels for in your fenders with the louvers on them as well as hoods and sides independent windshield wiper blades and like i say if this was stock it would be a really nice detailed kit but Ravel only wants you to build it as a hot rod. Now let's look at our decal sheet. And here it is with these really cool flames that sort of drip off the ends. Two license plates and our pinstriping sitting right there. Then we have our wonderful body and fenders. 1937 was Quite a nice year for streamlining. See our body fits really well on there. They're actually two separate parts and this has some really nice detail underneath. Then we get into our tires and you have our fat style tires on the back with thin skinnies in the front. And then we have some of our frame details. This little bend in here, I do believe, is where the battery would sit. And here is our frame. Very nice with the fuel tank molded in there. Then the firewall, which also acts as a support for our hood. And of course, here is our hood. Then we have the seat and engine detail is also very nice very 80s 90s type of era upholstery for your street rods here is the jaguar independent front suspension and our fan and the ford ifs suspension with our smoothie running boards the 
this parts tree here has the door panels and the nice Camaro style steering wheel. Then we have our chrome pieces, very nice 37 Ford distinctive grille, and our um, Kragar style mags, as well as that nice air cleaner with the stamped in bits. And our glass components should give you the windshield and two windshields, and a bunch of different things. Uh, this Glass, I believe, is universal with the coupe model, which I don't have. Or the sedan model, I should say. And then there's our running boards with that nice detail in there. And our side hoods with the louvers. And that brings us to the end of this review of the 37 Ford Coupe by Ravel. Well, we hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we looked at the Ravel 37 Ford Coupe Street Rod Kit. And if you actually turn it over, you can hit the streets with your street rod. But seriously, folks, if you would like to catch the other videos in our series, please check them out here, here, and right down here. And don't forget to subscribe to us right here so that we can continue our series of What's in the Box. And until next time, keep it cool.